Hi friends, welcome back in Nessa's Nook. So today I'm going to try something. I have made the Big Mac Smash Burgers. However, I have not made them in the combi the way I plan to do it today. I don't know for sure if it's going to work, but as always, I'm bringing it along for the ride. See if it works. If it doesn't, I guess I'll have a salad for lunch or something. But I'll bring you down here and show you what I'm doing. Sorry about that. I had to turn on my kitchen light behind me. thought that would make it easier to see. So, I don't know for sure if I made the video of this, but when I had some hamburger the last time, I had actually pressed this in a tortilla shell. Now, I know this is going to be shrinking up because, you know, it's not cooked and everything, but um, I thought to myself, I could more wrap it this way, having a bigger shell than having a smaller shell, so it should hopefully work. So now go ahead and um, put a little bit of spices on the meat because I don't want a bland Big Mac. All right. Now I did put the half a cup of water down in the combi pan because any time that you cook with 15 minutes or below and you do it on combi cook, you put a half a cup. If it's over 15 minutes, you put a cup in there. It kind of makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and lift you up here. Go ahead and get, I did pull out the combi here. Go ahead and put that in there. Now because I'll be cooking on the left hand side, this needs to be put over there to the left hand side. And what I'm going to do is bring this down to the 350. And I'm just going to go ahead and put it on um, combi meals. Um, I don't really want the crust or not the crust, but the shell to get hard. Hopefully it won't. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my fan. So that blows everything out. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit start. Now at first, nothing at all happens. While this is warming up, this will go on for about two or three minutes. And then it will start the cook time. And then I'll show you what I'm gonna do. And what I also did is, I'm feeling lazy today. <laughs> I'm just. It's lunchtime and you know I just don't feel like doing a lot of stuff. But I have a whole bunch of dehydrated onions that are, um, you know how like McDonald's has those on, like they put those on the cheeseburgers or um, like the Big Macs. Then I thought to myself, I'm like, why can't I just reconstitute some of those onions, use my lettuce from the other day from the nachos, have this and then I have um, my rice from last night's dinner warming up as a side. So it'll be a nice full lunch for myself. So all I have to do is when I'm ready to use this, just dump this water. I'm going to use those for onions and see if it actually works this time. So you guys know you're always along for the ride. So anyways, I will put you on pause. I'll bring you back once that's pulled out. We'll show you what if that's going to actually make a good lunch for me or not. Okay, so... Here's my smash burger, and probably what I should have done, and I thought about that after the fact, I should have just probably just cooked this, um, you know, just cooked the, the uh, meat by itself, because now this is obviously a little bit, um, I did pour the grease off here. So, of course, this is not going to look like how it would normally and I do not like American cheese so I'm going to go ahead and use the Colby Jack and I will be eating this obviously with a uh, fork and knife because it's going to be way too messy to eat otherwise all right and I did drain off those onions and I'll spread those throughout here I don't know why for years I've had these type of onions because I keep buying them and I don't know why I've never thought to use them this way because I really like those ones that McDonald's sells even though I don't go to McDonald's. Put a little bit of lettuce in there. Shake up my salad dressing. Put a little bit of that. And obviously the next time I do this I will cook the meat by itself and then oops I got too much in there 
um, the meat by itself and then add the, the, the shell. So like I said, this is going to be a little bit of a mess, but it's just for me. I'm not that picky for lunchtime and then I have a little bit of the rice left over from yesterday. So I'm going to go ahead and take about half of that. And I still have more for another day. So even though this did quite turn out, I think this will taste okay. And like I said, this is, I mean, it's a learning process, but I think next time, like I said, definitely cook the meat actually in the pan, then add the shell. Um, I think that would just be a lot better off. And then, you know, I'll just go ahead and eat this. But a Big Mac um, smash burger with some leftover uh, broccoli and uh, broccoli rice with some onions and um, chicken broth. So this is my lunch today. Um, let me know what you guys think of it. I know it's not perfect or anything, but it should fill me up. So thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you have a very blessed and wonderful day.